I don't want a pickle. Just wanna ride on the motorcycle. And I don't want a tickle. I'd rather ride on my motorcycle. And I don't want to die. Just want to ride on the motorcycle. No, it's been about 12 years now that I've been singing this dumb song. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing that somebody could get away with singing a song this dumb for that long. But you know, hey, you know what's more amazing than that is that, is that uh, somebody could make a living singing a song this dumb. But that's America. You know, I told about everything there was to tell about it. When I wrote it, how come, why, what for? But you know the one thing that I'm always used to neglect to explain was the significance of the pickle. It was the time I was riding my bike, I was going down a mountain road. I was doing 150 miles an hour. On one side of the mountain road, there was a mountain. And on the other side, there was nothing. It was just a cliff in the air. But I wasn't paying attention, you know, I was just driving down the road. All of a sudden, by accident, a string broke off my guitar. It broke, you know, right there, went flying across the road that way, wrapped itself around a yield sign. Well, the sign didn't break, it didn't come out the ground, the string stayed wrapped around it, stayed in the other end of my guitar. I held on to my guitar with one hand. I held on to the bike with the other. I made a sharp turn off the road. Luckily, I didn't go into the mountain. I went over the cliff. I was doing 150 miles an hour sideways and 500 feet down at the same time. Hey, I was looking for the cops. Because, you know, hey, I knew that, you know, it, it was illegal. I, I knew that that was it. I knew I didn't have long to live in this world. And in my last remaining seconds in the world, I knew that it was my obligation to write one last farewell song to the world. Took out a piece of paper. I pulled out a pen. And it didn't write. I, I had to put another ink cartridge in it. I sat back and I thought a while, and then it come to me. It come like a flash, like a vision, burnt across the clouds. I just wrote it down. I learned it right away. I don't want a pickle, just want to ride on my motorcycle. And I don't want a tickle, I'd rather ride on my motorcycle. And I don't want to die, I just want to ride on my motorcycle. Go. Hey, I, you know, I knew it wasn't the best song I ever wrote. But I didn't have time to change it. But you know, the most amazing thing was that I didn't die. I landed on the top of a police car. And it died. I come into town. I come into town and screaming 175 miles an hour, singing my new motorcycle song. I stopped out front of the deli, and out front of the deli was a man eating the most tremendous pickle. A pickle the size of four pregnant watermelons. Just a huge monster pickle. He walked up to me, pushed a pickle in my face, and started asking me questions. It was about the same time I noticed a pickle in my face. I noticed a cord hanging from the long end of the pickle going up his sleeve, down his shirt, into his pants and shoes, out into a briefcase he had near his feet. I knew it wasn't an ordinary pickle, but it was about the same time I noticed a cord hanging out of the pickle that a four-foot cop arrived with a five-foot gun. A cop that one time must have been around six foot three, but was met at the bottom of a mountain by a flying, singing, writing weirdo freak. He walked up and with one tremendous hand, he grabbed the pickle away from the other guy. He threw it a hundred feet straight up in the air. And while the pickle was halfway between going up and coming down, he took out his gun and put a three-inch bullet hole right through the long end of the pickle. It started coming back down. 
he stuck out his foot. He caught the pickle on his big toe. And balancing the pickle on his big toe, he reached his huge hand into his little pocket. Pulled out a ten-foot ticket. He borrowed my pen. He wrote it up. Then he rolled it up and stuffed it in a bullet hole in the middle of the pickle. Took the pickle with the ticket and shoved it down my throat. It was at that very moment that the pickle with the ticket was going down my throat that I knew for sure that that I didn't want a pickle. I don't want a pickle. I just want to ride on my motorcycle. And I don't want a pickle. I'd rather ride on my motorcycle. And I 